this is the ninth video in our tutorial series um, where we're trying to animate this skeleton model and in the last video we applied some materials to the model and now I'm going to join all the different parts in the in the model the main skeleton eyes iris and teeth so I'll first select all actually I won't get rid of my camera first then I'll select all press control J and join the selected meshes now I can move those to the first layer so they can join the rigging so I'll move that in with the rigging now in the rigging there was one thing that got messed out when I put in the eye bones so we'll do that really quickly and what I missed out was to name and parent these so let's give these some names eye, left and make it a child of the head which is here and call that I write and make it a child of the head as well then while we're here I don't think it would hurt much to size those to a little bit smaller because they're pretty big so I'll grab them along Y and just make them a little smaller at this point I think that the x-ray bone option has become a little bit distracting so I'm going to turn that off so we're not looking right through the skeleton model so now we're pretty much ready to go um, before I parent these I'm going to comment that I fully expect that after creating vertex groups from bone heat I'm going to have to go through and manually correct and I don't mean manually correct a bone or two I mean that I'm going to have to manually correct every bone and finish off by weight painting in the area of the ribs where one bone is not going to get a very great motion from and the reason I expect that is well I've already parented uh, this armature with a uh, skeleton in a different project playing around with this idea and discovered that it's just not going to create vertex groups accurately and the problem with this mesh is and the idea of creating vertex groups on it is that it's a skeleton and if I was to select linked ver vertices in different portions of this model I discover that it's built entirely out of individual pieces and that's going to be okay when it comes to parenting and it's going to make a lot easier job of manually creating these vertex groups but for the way that Blender is going to automatically create vertex groups it's really not going to work out and I guess the best way to illustrate that is to just go through the process so let's select the mesh shift and select armature press the object dialog parent make parent make parent to armature create vertex groups from bone heat and that'll see our vertex groups created let's select the raking and go into pose mode and see what it's done and we'll start by rotating the upper arm and as you can see it's taken a goodly portion of the ribs and perhaps that's good and perhaps that's bad that depends on how a person wants it to look when it's um, animated now I'm thinking that a skeleton without any muscles when it moves its arms its ribs aren't going to move very much and I'm going to build it where this bone is this bones vertex group and 
by bone, I mean firstly the bone in the mash, which is the upper arm bone, and then the upper arm bone in the rigging are going to be parented together. And when one looks across this entire project, um, for just about every bone in the mesh's body, there's a bone in the rigging. And that's how they're going to be assigned in vertex groups. And that's what I'll do, with the exception of the chest and rib area which I'll have to wait paint to try to get that to look proper when it's animated. So I'll go into edit mode and we'll just have a look at, let's see, the hip. So I'll deselect all with the A key, come down into the vertex group dialog and select the hip right vertex group and see what it selects can see that it selected the hip as well as the pelvis bone and a section of the spinal column and ribs which is obviously too much so I'm going to remove those from that vertex group deselect it select one vertex in the hip control L to select linked which will pick all of the vertex vertex is linked to the one I selected and just pick out the right hip bone of the mesh and now I can parent the right hip bone of the mesh to the right hip bone of the armature by assigning it to the proper vertex group and if we're to tab into object and pose mode and have a look at what that's done is it's separated the hip and this bone now controls the hip bone and incidentally the hip bone of the armature is also parenting to the leg so of course it's going to lift the leg as well so let's clear that transform and I'm going to create vertex groups across the whole of the model like this, including the head, jaw, eyes for each of their bones, and each of these items are going to be very separate, and I'm going to be able to pick one vertex in, in the area of the raking bone, and use Control L to select link, and in some places there's two bones instead of one, so I'll just brush select on things like the legs, quickly brush them, control L, and then create the vertex group for its corresponding bone in the rigging. And I'll use weights of one across the entire skeleton because I don't figure any of these bones are going to prove to be too flexible, and they shouldn't look that way. So, the only portion I intend to weight paint and what I'll come back with in my next video is all these things assigned to vertex groups and hopefully a successful weight painting across the chest bones to get the one bone of the armature to animate it reasonably which I'm kinda hoping that I can figure out a way to get that working that's one that I really haven't tried out yet so that's it for this video. I'll come back in the next video with all that done and we'll have a look at what we've what we've uh, created here. So I'll see you in that video. Till then, happy modeling.